there VPs. I'm coming to y'all today to discuss my cameras. I've had a couple of you guys that has asked me about my cameras and I keep promising this video and I don't like to make empty promises. So I decided to go ahead and make that video today, right now. Cameras. <laughs> Um, lately, I've only been using one of them, which is the, the most recent one that I have. I'm using that one to record on right now, and I'll show y'all that camera in a minute. Um, this one right here is the last camera that I was using uh, before my current camera. Okay, so this is my backup camera. Um, this one is a, this is a Samsung WB1100F. It's 16.2 megapixels. Uh, it's a smart camera, Wi-Fi. The NFC um, digital camera has got a 35 uh, with 35 times optical zoom. Is what it is. A 3.0 inch LCD plus 720 pixel HD video. Okay. So this is the camera. Okay, so as you can see, it is a Samsung. And right here. And this is the top of it. Okay. Right here is the button. There's two buttons here. This one is the direct link. If you want to have your videos to go directly to you know your files are onto the computer you can situate that I've never used the direct link so I really cannot tell you how it works um, but anyways this button here you press it and it comes on let me show you again let me turn the screen around so you can see it pressing that button and there it is right now it's telling you that the memory is full and it's saying that the memory is full only because <laughs> only because I don't have a memory card in it right now my memory card is in the camera that is recording this but so yeah that's the screen okay so right here you have your menu button and you have all your menu the white balance you know different things like that um, up here at the top you turn the wheel on the top the first one that I just turned it to is settings I'm going to turn it again I can't really see it but I can see here that I turned it it says movie filter these are your different filters and things for it a photo filter movie filter photo editor on it and I really don't use that one. I just turned it again. That settings. This is your movie settings. It's your Wi-Fi settings. Email, mobile link, a Samsung link. You know your cloud. All of that. The smart auto. So yeah. Um, really, the only settings that I would use. I never really use the camera to take pictures. The only thing you have to do to take when you want to take a picture. It doesn't matter if you're in the um, the movie settings or not. You just push that button there, and it'll snap a picture. And that was that button. This button is also the zoom. I'm going to turn it this way. Hopefully y'all can see it. You see that? And the zoom lens came out. The, that was, those are the pros. The cons to this camera, well, the biggest pro to this camera is it's very good in low lighting. Like when I go to Vegas in two weeks, I'm taking this with me. So that way when I'm out in the evenings or at nighttime, this camera is really good in low lighting. Like I have no issues with it in low lighting at all. Um, the only thing that I really don't like about the camera is that it has a big delay. Like sometimes you have to press this button a couple of times. Like when you want it to snap a picture, you might have to press it a couple of times before it actually snaps the picture. That's one of the things that I don't like it, like about it. 
So if you'll give me a moment, I'm going to switch cameras and I'll show you my most current camera, the one that you guys have been asking about. So the other thing that I forgot to mention about the Samsung, which I'm recording off of right now, I'm recording from the Samsung that I just showed y'all, is that it's so bulky and it's so heavy. Like, I mean, I was used to it, but when you're out and you're always vlogging and things like that, like that camera is not that convenient. So that's better as a like sit down camera you know something like that um but yeah <laughs> and i like it too because it does have the strap on it my samsung strap i don't know if you can see where it says samsung there it is right there so i can hold it on my shoulder but i also had bought a camera case for it this camera case is by case, uh, case logic and um case logic i really like this it's insulated and padded really well i'm gonna take this with me um like i said to vegas and this camp this case is i think there is still enough room where i can even carry my small camera that i'm getting ready to show y'all as a matter of fact i'm just now realizing that i can fit this one on the side if need be so that is very very good like <laughs> very good all right so this is my current camera okay turn it it's a i don't know if you say nikon or nikon it's a nikon cool pix s 6900 it's got 16 megapixels it's full hd 1080 pixels it's the ultimate selfie camera uh with a 12 12 zoom 12 whatever 12 uh pixel or a 12 zoom um and of course my favorite part of this camera is the flip out screen this is why i got this camera okay so of course when i'm vlogging well first of all you're going to turn it on right here this is the on off button oops Okay, so the lens came out. Okay, so when I'm vlogging, I can flip it this way. Okay, I can flip it this way and I vlog like this. Right here, I like it because my screen, I can look at my videos here. This is the video that I just made so oh, that's it and I don't know why it's not scrolling maybe because the memory card is in there because I've never had a problem with making it scroll but you can go like this and it scrolls it it goes from one clip to the other um, you have your menu screen there um, I like this camera this camera is pretty awesome um, of course so I'm turning it like this. If I want you to see yourself, I'll turn it like that. If I want to see you, all I have to do is flip it like that. Okay. Um, here is my zoom. My on off. Sorry, this is how to connect it to the Wi-Fi is what that is. And um, this also, this camera, I never use this but it has a little kickstand to it, like that. See that? So that's pretty awesome. And um, so the only thing that I really do not like about this camera is that this camera is not good in low lighting it's not good in low lighting like it looks really dark in low lighting um but it's very convenient it's so small like after you know using the the samsung the red camera 
to vlog all the time when i started using this one i was like almost dropping it because it was just so tiny compared to the samsung so i hope y'all enjoyed the video i hope it was very informative please let me know which camera you like let me know if you plan on purchasing them uh the red samsung camera i bought that one on amazon that one was something like 207 dollars something like that um the Nikon camera, this one was probably, it was less than $120. It was something like $120. And I got both of these off of Amazon. All right, so thanks for watching, and I'll see y'all in the next video. Deuces, darling. Hello there, VPs. I'm coming to y'all today to discuss my cameras. I've had a couple of you guys that has asked me about my cameras and I keep promising this video and I don't like to make empty promises. So I decided to go ahead and make that video today, right now. Cameras. <laughs> um, lately, I've only been using one of them, which is the, the most recent one that I have. I'm using that one to record on right now and I'll show y'all that camera in a minute. Um, this one right here is the last camera that I was using uh, before my current camera. Okay, so this is my backup camera. Um, this one is a this is a Samsung WB 1100F. It's 16.2 megapixels. Uh, it's a smart camera, Wi-Fi, the NFC. Um, 